Oh, dinky do. How are you? It's Scotty McClure. I thought I'd just pop up and do a quick scope. It's Friday night and it's just after 11 o'clock on Friday the 12th of May 2017. And it's to remind you that on Sunday night at 10 o'clock sharp, I'll be broadcasting live on Facebook Live for one hour. One hour of superb scintillating information, education and entertainment for a grateful nation. Not just one nation, of course, but globally for the whole world. If you've never heard of me, I'm Scotty McClue, and I have the title of the world's top broadcaster. I think I've earned that. I've been broadcasting for 33 years, 36,000 hours of live programming just for you. Dinky doo, dinky doo is my catchphrase. So can you please spread the word? Everybody should know about this wonderful, wonderful program. 10 o'clock sharp on a Sunday evening. Now when I say 10 o'clock, that's British summer time. Remember you're watching throughout the world in India, Africa, Canada, America, Madagascar, Tasmania, the Arctic, the Antarctic, Russia, China, Japan. You've got the whole world there. Europe, of course, right across Europe. And we talk about all sorts of subjects. What we've found is there's a huge, huge market for the Scotty McClue program. I made it a phone in now. And you can Skype in and talk to me, Scotty McClue, live on Facebook Live at 10 o'clock British Summer Time. So there we go. Now, lots to talk to you about. Of course, I'm right across social media. So go on to YouTube and look up Scotty McClue. Look up, look up the Scotty McClue channel on YouTube. And if you can subscribe, that would be great because we're just below a thousand subscribers. If we get a thousand subscribers on there, then that's another broadcast platform. So you've got Facebook Live, you've got Periscope here. We can scope at any time. And of course, you'd have YouTube as well for broadcasting live. So there you are. And that makes us a global talk show here for you, here to serve. Now, also, you can follow me on Twitter. Very, very important. You'll be watching on Periscope right now, obviously. So if you go on to Twitter, at Scotty McClue, and follow me on Twitter, that would be just tremendous. At Scotty McClue. Capital S, small C, O, double T, I, E. And then M, capital M, small C, capital C, L, U, E. That is the McClue. What have I been doing this evening? I'm just in from a wonderful, wonderful production of Scottish Opera's La Bohème in the Theatre Royal in Glasgow. So I would strongly advise you to go and see that if you get the chance. It is a wonderful, wonderful production. The sets, the music, the singers, the setting, the theatre, the technical side of it, the conducting, Absolutely outstanding. The acting, oh, beautiful, beautiful production of Puccini's La Bohème at the Theatre Royal in Glasgow, if you're into amazing productions. So there you go. So that's a little something for you, a little aside. Uh, now we have lots and lots to talk about this Sunday evening. What I'm asking you is, do we need flags at all? As the world gets smaller, we all know where everywhere is, so do we need flags? When I say the world gets smaller, I am, of course, talking about globalization. The United Kingdom has got a general election coming up on the 8th of June. Uh, Mrs. Theresa May, the Prime Minister of Great Britain and Northern Ireland, has uh, gone to the country to see if they will back her. And um, of course, the thing is, everything could absolutely change. We've got uh, an incredible Labour Party led by Mr. Corbyn. So, you know, it could end up neck and neck. It might even end up in a draw. I would hope Scotland will be independent and won't be dragged into all that. I think the way the United Kingdom has gone, it's been broken by Brexit. So they are very important. It's been broken by Brexit. So never think that the Scottish um, parties are breaking up the country because it's already gone. Uh, and I think that probably we'll see an independent Scotland. Um, I'd be interested in your thoughts on Ireland. Would anybody have any objections to the re 
reunification of Ireland to the six counties being included back into the Emerald Isle of Ireland. Uh, that's entirely up to yourselves, of course. We can talk about that. And um, the Labour Party manifest itself quite interesting. What Labour's needing to do, Labour shot itself in the foot by not backing independence for Scotland. That, of course, led to them betraying the roots and betraying the Scottish people, because Keir Hardy, the founder of the Labour movement, uh, would not have had that. And, of course, Labour's been in business for a very, very long time. But in Scotland, they virtually annihilated themselves because they failed to back independence. So if um, Labour backed independence for Scotland, Scotland then became independent. Ireland reunified, Wales became independent, then you could have a very strong Labour Party in charge of England, uh, you know, what remains of the United Kingdom. So there's a thought for you there, a uh, bit of chat on that one. So we can discuss all these things as time goes on. Please take your hat off. No, no, it doesn't come off. I don't take off my hat. I'll tell you, my hat stays on. If you've just joined us on Periscope, of course, welcome to the Scope. You're uh, watching Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster. And we are broadcasting live on Periscope, one of the world's great broadcast platforms. And uh, follow me on Periscope. Very important that you follow me. And also, if you look down at your device that you're watching me on right now, it'll say, share this with your followers or share this broadcast. Just do it right now, guys. Do it absolutely as we speak. Is this real? Yep, absolutely real. 100% live and real as we speak. You would do much better if you weren't wearing the hat. What do you mean do much better? Do you mean financially, spiritually? Do you think I would look older, younger? Would I have more, less credibility? I don't know. I am the world's top broadcaster, so I don't think it matters whether I'm wearing a hat or not. Keep the hat. The hat is annoying. Why is the hat annoying? I mind I used to listen to you on the wireless. Financially, I would do much better financially if I removed my hat. I don't know about that, actually. There we are. Does that look better? Will I do better financially now? Talking of finance, of course. Where have you been, Scotty? We missed your pattern. That's correct. Hey, talking of finance, of course, I'm raising finance to start a new independent media which is unbiased so there we are i feel be me and scotty of course i feel that the mainstream media these days has become fake news you can't trust it you look at the front of it and it's rubbishing anything that involves change that's not good enough i say so we're trying to start our own media and um, if you want to go fund me it costs you a couple of quid or a fiver or a tenner then you can go to gofundme.com forward slash scotty hyphen mcclue and pop something in with your plastic card come on then pet let's hear your patter you're listening to my patter you dafty so there you go you numpty head that you are fantastic right uh, tell everyone scotty mcclue's on remember me scotty it's the barbarian barbarian of course i remember you how fantastic to hear you how did you know i was on scope spread the word guys share 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 look down at your device and it says share this broadcast now so share it right actually do it and also, can you tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 to tell 10 about Scotty McClue, the world's top broadcaster, broadcasting live on Facebook Live on Sunday evenings at 10 o'clock sharp? So there you go. Um, also, uh, what else did we want to talk about? Any subjects? We're looking at banning flags. And we're also, what's the word at your end, Scotty? Fantastic. I was at an opera tonight. Scottish Opera's production of La Bohème. Puccini, beautiful, beautiful. Your tiny hand is frozen. Tremendous stuff. The fatties should pay for two seats on the buses, Scotty. Absolutely. They're taking up two seats. They should be paying for two seats. But I've got a nice thing that you can do to help a fatty and maybe even save their life. You go around and you knock the door. Rat ta tat 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 And you say... Is the fat person coming out for a walk? And then you can take them around the block. 
Fadge, f uh, sorry, flag should be banned from Glastonbury Festival. Absolutely. Well, there you are. Should we ban flags altogether? What about the salt out, the Scottish flag? I think it should remain. I think that was amazing. There's somebody writing to me in Arabic. Dinky do to you. In uh, in Arabic, I say, what's dinky do in Arabic? Lots and lots of you joining the broadcast as we speak. So I'll stay up for a minute or two and uh, and let you know what's what. As I say, politically, the UK is going through a big area of turmoil. But uh, we've had a thing called austerity, which we don't like. I love you, says somebody. Banned borders and governments. Banned borders and governments, I think you are. Tell the single mums to keep their drawers up says somebody absolutely can i get a small loan of a million dollars it depends what it's for so there you are life is like a box of chocolates i could not agree with you more tremendous so if you've got a comment to make make it now guys there's no problem it's scotty mcclue that's on jez or me scotty well i'm just saying a lot of people were thinking that uh, you know me it was a done deal until mr corbyn who's full of surprises, and um, I was annoyed at him because he was using anti-Scottish uh, and anti-national rhetoric for Scotland. Uh, not a good idea, I see. I think there's enough damage done to Labour in Scotland without the leader actually sticking the knife in. So there you go. So um, what I'm saying, if uh, Mr Corbyn's watching, you know, Build up the Scots. Make sure we get independence. Get yourself voted in. Ban Brexit. Scrap Brexit. Take back Article 50 from Europe. Uh, look at the unification of Ireland. All that sort of thing. But don't go blaming uh, the Scots for breaking up Britain. Britain's well broken up right now. Brexit ensured that. That was the final nail in Britain's coffin. So I can tell you that. And remember... You can trust Scotty McClure. You might laugh at me, but you can trust it. Brexit was wrong. Indeed, it's proved so, I say. Uh, so there you go. Now, you're shouting for all sorts of different things politically. As you know, I'm not really a political animal. I'm a man who deals in facts, figures, and economics. That's why Scotland would do so well on its own. Full Devo Max for starters. That's the thing. Right, um, what else can we talk about? Friday night, of course. If you've got something you want to bring up while I'm on, feel free to do that. But can you follow me on Periscope? Can you follow me on Twitter, at Scotty McClue? Can you follow me on Facebook? Can you join me on Facebook Live? Can you subscribe to me on YouTube? Go to Scotty McClue youtube channel just put that in and come and subscribe to me on youtube spread the word right now see if we can get the figures up big style on this broadcast and uh, talk about scotty mcclue to everyone because a lot of people were aware of it in television a lot of people are aware of it on radio but of course social media slightly different it depends on all of us spreading the word so just click share i know a lot of you are not afraid of work so it shouldn't be a chore there we are right friday night you've got lots and lots to do i'm going to push off there's a scotty mcclue saying dinky do to you have a fabulous weekend join us on sunday night facebook live get yourself set up now so you don't miss a second of it because if you miss a second of scotty mcclue you miss a second of life you miss a moment of life if you want to go fund me you can go on to the scotty mcclue website www.scotty-mcclue.com and you'll see that 10 million people have beaten you to it and you'll see also the logos for gofundme and for paypal if you prefer paypal then you can use that one as well but every single one of you that sees this Please, quite seriously, go fund me. Go and stick some money from your cards, two or three pounds, anything you can spare, a five or a ten or a hundred quid. Stick it right into gofundme.com forward slash Scotty hyphen McClue. Uh, you're just begging for money. No, I'm not begging at all. We don't beg. I mean, everything is, can you give us some money? Can you crowd fund this? 
So, I mean, there's no actual begging involved. I mean, when you go into a shop to buy something, do you say, ha ha, you're begging to sell that newspaper to me. You're begging to sell me a loaf. You're begging to sell me a pint of milk. So stupid comments like that <clears throat> mean absolutely nothing. All right, there you go. It's, uh, I mean, I'm one of the richest men in the world. I just don't have a lot of money. And I've already invested thousands and thousands of pounds into radio stations. So, you know, respect the money I say. There's no begging going on. We're asking you, can you spare two or three quid so that you can get a better standard of media and we can develop the Scotty McClure show. I don't think that's too much to ask. So there you go. Lovely to have you with us. As I say, spread the word and we'll catch up Sunday night, Facebook Live, 10 o'clock sharp, British summer time, and uh, globally set your clock for what the time is for you around the world. Do you know I'm one of the richest too? I didn't, but I do now. Dinky do every day and ta -ra -las. Brexit's the beginning of a truly great Britain limited together for a bright future. Uh -huh. Are you a prophesier? Says somebody. I don't know what that last person's been taking, but I wouldn't mind a sip of what he's on.